Well, I mean, it's it's been extremely emotional, I guess you could say. Uh, it's been a long, long journey since day one. Second. You know, as I'm sitting here, all these things are running through my mind of all, you know, some some tough times, some great times. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely lucky. Even if it got ended short, I, I'm very, very lucky. I knew from you know the beginning that it wasn't going to be my last game. So, you know, in meeting with multiple doctors and everything, they you know it's just a, a four month rehab deal and you're back basically. But uh, just knowing that you know those four months are going to be tough and you never know when they you know cut you open how exactly that's going to be. So, uh, you know that's nerve wracking. But it, it was nice to know that there's still you know a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, at the end, Zach and I were good friends, uh, and you hope it ends that way with most of your players. It's not going to always end that way. Uh, but, you know, uh, he had a lot of confidence in some things that I would uh, tell him about trying to get to the next league, uh, next level. Uh, we were, I'd try to guide him and give him as much advice as I could and uh, in a lot of different things. And we were more than just a player coach relationship at the end, uh, especially uh, when he started, you know, uh, having so many injuries that, uh, toward his uh, senior year and the Baylor game coming back. And uh, it was special, and it was special for him, and it was special for me. I'm a very self motivated person, and, uh, you know, I like to uh, just go in and put in the extra work because I know. You know, being a guy from, from Iowa, and you don't get the benefit of the doubt a lot. And so uh, what I like to do is go in there and uh, outwork everybody. And that work has led to, you know, a lot of physical abilities coming out and uh, me being able to, to, you know, really show that I have some talent. Uh, you got to live the dream, and you got to have the dream. Then you got to go make that dream come true. And I think Jake's ultimate goal when he came to college was, I want to be in the NFL. And he's willing to do everything and anything on and off the football field. I think the biggest challenge for me is just uh, making sure I can make myself an asset to a team. You know, making you can't just be disposable uh, there because you know you're going to be gone. You've got to come in right away, uh, learn the defense, learn everything that's going on, and you've got to go out and perform every single day and be consistent. And that's uh, that's one of the ways that you're going to make yourself an asset is be consistent. And that's what I've got to do. And with that comes you know you've got to make sure you can stay healthy. You know, he got to where he is with the help of others, but he definitely laid the groundwork and had the work ethic to uh, carry himself to where he is today. I remember after our first uh, spring ball, um, after my freshman year, uh, Wally Burnham brought me in his office and uh, we watched some film and he, he told me, you know, hey, he's like, you keep, you know, I kept rewinding on one of these one of the play I made. And he's like, you keep doing this, Jake, you're gonna, you're going to be an all Big 12 player. You're going to be, have a chance at the NFL. You're going to play in the NFL, all this stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, man, this guy's crazy. <laughs> like, what is he talking about? I appreciate it, but I don't know, man. <laughs> at that point in uh, his development, you could tell that, you know, he could go a long way as a football player. And uh, it's been documented many, many times how smart uh, he was. But it went beyond that with Jake. Uh, you know, there's a lot of smart football players out there, but there's a lot of them that don't understand the game. Uh, Jake was an extension of us out there, and sometimes he was more than us. You know, he could see things during the course of a game uh, that we couldn't see from the press box or the sideline. He'd come off and tell us things. This is a guy uh, that that's not expected probably uh, to be drafted, not expected to make a, a National Football League roster, has too many checks and knocks against him because of uh, injuries, past injuries, et cetera, and, and, and 
he's he's not concerned with that. He's concerned with himself, his work ethic, and and, and preparing himself the best he can. And Jake Knott's a guy that can put his head on the, his head on his pedal at night and live with whatever the the outcome is. You know, there's a lot of great ones out there that we all can say if he comes and works and does these things, he'll play at the next level. Uh, but Jake was a real good athlete. But Jake was the had as tough mentally as he was physically. And a lot of kids came over, cannot overcome the mental part of it uh, to push and to learn and to sacrifice and uh, do all the things that it takes to be the type of player that Jake became. I, I offer those leadership abilities along with, you know, the hard working, uh, I'll do whatever you tell me to do uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, I, I'm a quick learner. I understand the game of football. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty physical. I, I can run better than most people think. Tough as nails. Tough as nails. He's as tough as anybody I've ever coached. He's as tough as anybody I've ever been around on a football field. Uh, and uh, that's saying something. Jake's the kind of guy that if he was this kind of guy, if he was a brawler, if he went to the clubs and, and got in fights and everything, uh, you better, he's going to kill you or you're going to kill him once. He, he won't, he won't end with someone backing off, you know. And uh, he, he's a tough customer.